Ati Esper, so now I know that this is something different. It can be a dish, main dish, or appetizer, right? And the way I look at it, um, it looks like a stuffed cabbage. Is that what you're going to do now? Yes. Can, uh, so what is it? It is, is, uh, it is a stuffed cabbage roll, uh -huh. Filipino style. Okay, so that's and good. So, something so, different. Yeah, it looks like um, I can eat it soon, as soon as you're done with this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it yummy. looks like yummy, yeah. <laughs> so, I can see, oh, this is our favorite. <laughs> <laughs> And let me show you the, the ingredients. We have one and a half uh, pounds of uh, ground beef and pork. It's a mixture. And uh, this is something different. I have uh, one cup of uh, fresh uh, chorizo. We have uh, five cloves of garlic, which is mint. One cup of onions. This is diced. And also we have um, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of uh, ground black pepper, two tablespoons of uh, oyster sauce, and this one is different. This is one cup of uh, pre-cooked uh, sweet rice. And we have uh, three tablespoons of spring onions, which is finely cut. We have one cup of uh, shredded carrots. And also we have one cup of mushrooms, which is chopped. And we have two eggs. We have uh, three tablespoons of white sugar. One half cup of flour. And we have the cabbage, which is already uh, blanched. And I already removed the rib, which is the hard part of the cabbage. It's just cut already, so it's already ready to be rolled. And so it's simple, you just mix all the ingredients, okay? And so we're going to be mixing the chorizo, which is one cup. We have the garlic, which is mint. We have the onions, a cup of onions. Okay, we have one and a half teaspoons of uh, salt. We have the ground black pepper, one and a half teaspoons also. This is the oyster sauce. tablespoons and this is the pre-cooked sweet rice and we have the three tablespoons of spring onions we have the Carrots, shredded carrots. We have one cup of mushrooms. We have the eggs, two eggs. The sugar. One half cup of uh, flour. All purpose flour. And we just mixed. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the sauce of our uh, stuffed cabbage roll. So first of all, we're going to put some uh, cooking oil in the pan. 
Then I'm gonna be uh, sauteing first the garlic. Then the next one will be uh, some onions. Then uh, we have salt and pepper. So we have this one each. And we have tomato sauce. It's one can of uh, tomato sauce. I use a uh, 29 ounce of uh, tomato sauce. And then this is something different. This is um, <clears throat> Joffran banana sauce. Okay, it's a one fourth cup. You can buy this in the Asian stores. And this is six cups of. Uh, boil the water where I blend the cabbage and I put salt on it too and so it has taste to it and I have this one third cup of brown sugar Okay, and so we'll wait until it boils. Okay, and so now we are ready to put the filling on the cabbage roll. This uh, cabbage is already blanched from a boiling water, which uh, I put some salt on it to put a taste. I remove already the part of the rib which is hard, okay, and the hard part of it. Okay, and Auntie Sue here will help me put the filling, okay? okay. Okay, so we're gonna be putting the filling on the cabbage. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so it looks good. It's really colorful. Yeah. Okay, and so what you're gonna do, you're gonna roll it, then put the both uh, edge of this uh, cabbage uh, leaf to make it a roll and roll it okay so there you go that's one how about you auntie so yeah okay yeah i'm gonna roll it now there you go do you need to put Stick ah, we don't have to, to hold it. We, we don't have to because our toothpick. No, because it's okay. But if, uh, for example, if we, it's a hard, you know, it's hard to to roll it, then we can put one. Okay, like this one here, it's coming out, and uh, so I could change the leaf on this one. Yeah. Okay. You can just make it double. It's a big one. Look at that. <laughs> Making a big one again. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So, no, we can hold this one now. Roll it on both sides. You're gonna just put it. 
and then roll it. <coughs> That's why it's called stuff garbage roll. Just like the ones that are not starting off. This is my first time to. I think of this one. Huh? prepare for the okay this cabbage roll um, we're gonna cook it in the ninja cooking uh, pot okay and you can cook here with the stove top or you can cook it in a slow cook you can cook it like four hours slow cook but uh, since we're we're not going to wait that uh, long the four hour thing we're gonna use the high top stove top okay and we're gonna be cooking it for like 45 minutes so an hour at least okay and so we're gonna start okay and so what i'm going to do is i'm putting a little oil here and i'm sauteing some onions And we're gonna be putting some of this chopped uh, cabbage here before putting the stuff for uh, cabbage roll. We're gonna put this uh, cabbage um, chopped and also this cabbage leaves here so that uh, will not burn. Okay, and so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting uh, some of this sauce here. gonna put this uh, cabbage rolls on top of them some more of this on top just to add more flavor some of the chopped uh, cabbage which you can eat this also because it will have flavor in it gonna be putting more sauce on it. Hey, that's so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Dami ang ta. Nalaki kasi. Put some more in this ta. Dami din. I don't know how. How many did we make so? Um, I don't know. Maybe more than 20. Oh yeah? I was thinking we can make only like 12. Mm -hmm. 12 and then. Because you all the vegetables. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. For the family, uh, food already so <laughs> family families. Okay, it's been 45 minutes, okay, and so we're gonna check it out, okay? <clears throat> so I can turn it off. You can cook it like 45 minutes to one hour. <clears throat> so we can check it out first. There's nothing here. It's good for the whole family. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Okay. And so now we're gonna taste first how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's long. Sakin mga short eh. You go. Okay. Where's your knife? Finished product, guys. Okay, it's a stuffed cabbage roll Filipino uh, style of cooking. Okay, so anyway, let's check it out and see if it's cooked and how it tastes. Oh, mm, smells good, so. This is one of my favorite. Uh, the the cabbage, cabbage, stuffed cabbage, cabbage, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. How is it? Sir? It's good. It's good. Check. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. You can taste the uh, meat inside and some rice. Ah. It good is not, And it's not dry, you know? Mm -hmm. So good. It's just right. It's not salty or mm -hmm. anything, right? No. Mm. Very good. Okay.
Christmas. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can deter the interested. Yeah. No, Complaining of pain on the leg. The leg is not going to be able to handle it. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. I don't put a lot of tomato sauce because the kids they don't like a lot of tomato sauce. It's this good. is just enough. Good. And um, sweet rice that I put, it's not a lot, and so yeah. you can taste the meat. The meat? Yeah. Very good. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll drop uh, some at my mom's place and sister's place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it's still fresh. Mm -hmm. I think this one is, tastes different because I tasted the stuffed cabbage rolls before in Philadelphia. Very good. Mm. Well, it's tender. Then the top world. and there's a nice smell. I think the garlic that you put mm -hmm. to make it more uh, it's a good smell. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you don't eat rice, just just eat this one. You eat one, yeah. and then drink some one. water, uh -huh. and you're full already. Mm -hmm. You know, right? mm -hmm. You eat two of this, then drink See? some water. You don't, have, you don't have to eat rice. So good. Mm -hmm. Success, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so good. See, I ate it all. <laughs> and so, guys, try to follow us and uh, please share to your friends, families, and don't forget to sub subscribe, okay? And thanks a lot. <laughs>